All right, all right, all right. This is the day that we've been waiting on. It is signing day 2018. Welcome to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, and welcome to another episode of The Mike Prince Show. Today's show is being brought to you by Anderson's Carpet Cleaning, which is located in Houston, Texas. They are in operation. If you have any need of carpet work to be done, it can be cleaned by one of the best in town. Allow Anderson's Carpet Cleaning to provide you with phenomenal professional service at a very reasonable rate. All you have to do is give them a call at 832 525 0745. That number again is 832 525 0745. Without any further ado, let us now join today's broadcast. Well, the time has come. The waiting is over. And it is time for justice to prevail. It is signing day throughout the nation. And it is a very exciting time on the hill for Coach Eric Dooley and his first line of work as a recruiter for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And he has been a busy man, which is all that I could truly say. He has definitely been a busy man. Last report that we had, over 30 individuals sought out, aggressively approached, and offers made. We have been able to confirm about 21 of them. Now, when we say confirm, thank goodness for the social media. Thank goodness for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all of the social informational resources that are available today. Took a lot of work, a tedious task, but I feel very confident in this release of the players that we have. We also have A schedule projected for the 2018 campaign. Don't have the dates, but we have the opponents and the sequence in which they'll be played. Because of bye weeks, this, that, and the other, have not had that. All that will be released later today, and you can compare apples to apples and just see who, what, when, where, and how if we were on target or not. But what an exciting time on the Hill. Of course, I want to remind you that we will be talking with Lincoln University Blue Tigers head football coach Stephen Smith to get their signing day roundup. We're also scheduled to speak with Cedric Thomas of University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, Coach Mike Haywood of the Texas Southern Tigers, Coach Mike London of the Howard Bison. And, of course, we'll be talking with Coach Shotgun Willie Simmons of Florida A&M Rattlers. So we have a lot to do and a short time to get it done. So without further delay or hesitation, we'll go to our projected list of commits for the 2018 football season. How accurate, how confident do I feel on this list we're about to present to you on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the strongest? I feel confident in a 9 of the accuracy and the due diligence and the research that we put in on this list. So, let us get right into it. Not in any necessary order, by the way, either. We're just going to call them off as they pop up and then just kind of let it rip. Xavier Johnson, wide receiver, 5 foot 11 inches, 165 pounds, out of Temple High School. Detravion Williams, 
offensive tackle, six foot four, 280 pounds, out of Woodlawn High School. Isaac James, offensive tackle, six foot three, 285 pounds, out of Woodlawn High School. Of course, those two from Shreveport, Louisiana. Trazon Connolly. Here's a unique listing that they have him on. Quarterback slash defensive tackle. 6'2", 185 pounds. Out of Duncanville High School. Logan Jackson. Considered a two-star recruit. Cornerback. Six foot tall, 175 pounds, out of West Mesquite High School. Drake Cheatham, cornerback, free safety, five foot ten inches, 170 pounds, West Mesquite High School. Demarcus Crockett, strong safety, five foot ten inches. 190 pounder out of West Mesquite High School. Carl Davis the third, outside linebacker, six foot three inches tall, 196 pounds, DeSoto High School. Kobe Love, another two star recruit, defensive tackle. Six foot one inches tall, 280 pounds. Callaway High School in Jackson, Mississippi. Donald Hall, defensive tackle, six foot three, 260 pounder from DeSoto Central High School in South Haven, Mississippi. Jarian Dumas, another two-star recruit, defensive tackle, six foot one, 285 pounder, from St. James High School, from St. James, Louisiana. Kyron Harris, another two-star athlete, defensive end, six foot two inches tall. 245 pounds St. James High School in St. James, Louisiana Kobe Lewis defensive tackle 6'3 310 pounds from Cypress Springs High School Josh Crawford defensive tackle 5'11 inches 285 pounds from La Cienne Collegiate High School out of Memphis, Tennessee. Shamad Sullivan, two-star recruit, middle linebacker, six foot one inches tall, 250 pounds. Landry Walker High School out of New Orleans, Louisiana. DePriest Taylor, middle linebacker, Six foot two, 220 pounds, Manville High School. Demarcus Moon, middle linebacker, six foot one, 245 pounds, Eastern Michigan transfer student, has one year of eligibility left. Chris Johnson. Three star recruit, wide receiver, six foot three inches tall, 195 pounds. Tulane College transfer with three years of eligibility left. Darius Clark, defensive tackle, six foot three, 295 pounds. Coffeeville Community College transfer. 
Terry Kelly, defensive tackle, six foot even, 280 pounds. Butler Junior College. Another transfer that will probably have everyone scratching their head. Coming from a Power Five conference school from the West Coast. Former Oregon Duck transfer. Six foot four, 235 pound. Tristan Wallace. That name sounds familiar. Tristan Wallace was the number four rank athlete according to 247sports.com in the class of 2016. He at one time was committed to go to Ohio State, flipped at the last minute, went to Oregon, now coming back to Texas to become a Panther. A lot of big willing and dealing going on for Coach Eric Dooley and the New Look Panthers. Panthers reportedly have 30 new faces that will be appearing at least for the spring in the Purple and Gold game. Spring practice will start March 19th, 2018. And of course, we'll be there to give you all the details and information as it unfolds. A lot of interesting pieces on this puzzle. And before we go speculating on who's going to do what, what's going to be what, we told you on yesterday, when you have this many players, you are hoping and praying that at least 16 of them will stick and make immediate impacts. And if the others have to be projects, then so be it. The schedule for the Panthers, at least the projected schedule for the Panthers, 2018, is going to be very, very interesting. Now, we do not have dates, but we do have a sequence of order that we've kind of calculated and put together on how things are going to be. And the following will be as such. Rice University. That will be your season opener. The MEAC SWAC Challenge will be South Carolina Central. That game will be in Atlanta. The Rice game, of course, will be in Houston. Then the payback for the Sam Houston home and home. Panthers will be on the road to Huntsville, Texas to take on Sam Houston in their third game. Fourth game, the Panthers will have their traveling shoes on. We'll be headed to Las Vegas, Nevada to take on UNLV. Panthers will then travel to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. The next game would have the Panthers meeting up with Grambling for the State Fair Classic in Dallas, Texas. You would then have Southern University at home. Alcorn at home for homecoming. Alabama State at home. On the road to Jackson State. And finally, at home against Texas Southern to close out the 2018 season. When you look at this schedule on paper, it is a very stiff schedule for Coach Dooley and the Panthers. But what a measuring stick to come out and support the Panthers. Once again, we'll run right through them. Rice University, 
South Carolina Central, Sam Houston, UNLV, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Grambling, Southern, Alcorn, Alabama State, Jackson State, and Texas Southern. Kaboom. What a time on the hill. Well, the clock is running. The Dooley era has begun. And we shall continue to keep a tab and keep a trace on everything that's happening on the hill. Don't forget, we're going to have a lot of other signing day updates, information released on Mississippi Valley, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Howard Bison, Lincoln University, Fam you and a few others that we've yet to disclose. Enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. The website is obnradio.com. The YouTube channel, Open Mic Broadcast Network. And don't forget, you can listen on TuneIn Radio and from your phone by dialing 605-477-5066. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.